Tatiana from Hardcore Italians, and you're watching Italian Things with G. Today, we're going over our blog post titled, The Five Stages of an Italian Goodbye. Do you ever say goodbye to a relative, or like you're at a family get together on like a Sunday, and you find yourself there for like an extra three hours just because you're saying goodbye repeatedly to them? If so, you're not alone. If you come from an Italian family, you know that Italian goodbyes take 10 years, and it's because we love our family so much, and we never want to say goodbye. So without further ado, here are those five stages of an Italian goodbye. Number one, the initial goodbye. This is when you think you're about to leave, okay? You're going around the whole table, we're probably finishing up playing cards, drinking our espresso, whatever the case. You're saying goodbye to everybody at the table, you're giving every single person there a hug and a kiss on both cheeks, you don't skip over anybody because that's just straight up disrespectful. And you think after saying this initial goodbye, like at the table going around, is the last goodbye, but no, this is just the first stage, my friend. Maybe you're saying goodbye and you're wearing like a certain necklace that like someone didn't see yet and they're like, wow, where did you get that necklace? And then we start sitting there and bantering and talking about where we got this necklace. More conversation happens, you know, some other people get involved, your cousins, your aunts, whoever the case, we're all talking about wherever we got this necklace. And then we walk over to the kitchen because we forgot we have to bring some leftovers from this dinner, right? This brings us to stage number two, the kitchen goodbye. So now we're in the kitchen, none of us packing up, you know, some leftovers for everybody and we start talking about how long this certain dish took us to prepare for the dinner today. We start talking about the grocery store, where we got the specific like ingredient for this dish, how long it took us to prepare, did we like it, will we do it different next time, like that conversation starts. And then we say goodbye, like okay, you know, next time, yes, this is what happened, here, here are the leftovers, okay, goodbye, hug and kiss everybody again. Then we make our way into the living room and this brings us to our third stage of goodbye. We're having some more like conversations on the side, everybody's having their own conversation, we're all like standing there, maybe we start to put our coats on a little bit, but like we're still talking. Maybe we say, oh, that's a new coat, where'd you get it? And then that conversation starts and the goodbye just gets prolonged. Like this already is probably like 45 minutes. And if you come from an Italian family, you understand this. If not, this probably just all sounds crazy to you. <laughs> then as we walk out of the living room, we start talking about, you know, after we took our coats out of the closet, we're coming to the doorway. And then we're saying goodbye one last time. We're standing, it feels more serious. We're by the door. We can visually see our cars. You think you're about to leave. You said goodbye to everybody and Nana says, wait, 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 I forgot. And she goes back and she has more leftovers for you and the family. She's giving them to you, giving it to everybody. And then we're like, oh, Nana, this isn't gonna stay on. Or like, there's a problem. So we have to stay longer. And we start talking about something else. And then we have to say goodbye again. We're in this doorway for at least 20 extra minutes. Just like, bantering, talking, whatever it is. Then we get to number five, the in the car goodbye. We're in our cars, we're walking out with our family still saying goodbye. We're sitting there and then maybe, you know, your aunt, your uncle like comes in the car to like say a few last things to your mom or your dad or to you or whoever. You know when you're in your car, it's not gonna be like a two second thing, like, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. It's like, we're sitting there for an extra 20 minutes. So you just think about how long this goodbye was from the initial first goodbye at the table like going around making your rounds we call it in my family at least and then now you're at the car and we're still there your car's running for a long time just talking in the driveway until one of them is like oh man i've been standing for a while okay you know my back's starting to hurt you know i'm, I'm gonna I'm, we're gonna say goodbye now but then everybody walks up to the door whoever's still there at whoever's the house we were meeting at and italians will wait they won't just go into their house and like shut the door they stand with respect outside their house and wait for you to pull out of the driveway make that turn make sure that you're safe on your way and they wait for that beep you know like the beep of like okay the last goodbye even when you're driving up, we're still saying bye. Like every time I come specifically to visit my nana, we're still saying goodbye as I'm like, you know, the turn is taking a long time. It's cold out. She doesn't care. She's standing out there ready to say goodbye to me. And I gotta like take a left out of my nana's driveway. So like sometimes there's a lot of cars coming and I feel so bad. And like, I don't want to make my nana wait, you know, at her house, like standing outside. It's cold for her, but she will stay there. She will stay so I can honk my horn and say that final goodbye. And then finally, you're able to get out, turn out of the neighborhood, get out of the driveway, honk your horn, the last goodbye, goodbye. Are gone. And that was like a solid two hours of saying goodbye. And there's a bonus. Sometimes while you're driving home, you'll get a call from someone in the family and they'll say, hey, oh, I forgot to tell you about this. And then you got the whole phone goodbye, but we're not gonna get into that. Long story short, Italians love their families. They want to spend every second with each other. And even when they say goodbye first, it's not like, oh, I'm trying to get out of here. You just want to keep spending time together. 
even if you guys were like button heads like the whole day, you still don't want to say goodbye fast. You're trying to like ease your way out of that because it's your family and no one else matters. Does this sound like your family? And has it taken this long for your family to say goodbye to each other? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to tag a paisan. This was Italian Things with G and thanks for watching. Ciao!